Hey, Silver Star 360 in conjunction with Kingdom Quality Logistics. I just want to talk to you briefly. This is kind of like part two on speaking on the cargo vans and sprinters, man. I dropped one video, dropping a few gems, and I'm dropping these because, like I said before, I can't help everybody, but man, I'm really feeling in my heart for people that have bought these vans and really uh, a lot of people are misleading you. You know, if you look at most of these uh, dispatching courses, nobody is teaching Sprinter vans and cargo vans. And, you know, I just want to drop some gems to help those of you that got these Sprinter vans and cargo vans so you don't have to sell them. Look, if you got one and you're not moving, which I hear that story a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Please uh, get your friend or whoever else got one. Be ready to send this to them. The reason why your cargo van is not moving, one number one reason is, okay, let's say you got your MC and DOT. It's under a year. Number one problem. Most brokers don't want to deal with that. It's a secret to that, man. It is, man. You know, and I can't give it out on this, you know, but there's a secret to that. Basically, you, you really got to partner with other companies that are already are in the industry, been in the industry for a while. You know, that's one of the ways. You know, we at Silverstone, we got ways to help you, you know, if you want that kind of help. You know, if you don't have to come to us, I don't recommend everybody come to us, but I, I'm giving you the gym so you can figure out what you need to do. That's one problem, MC too young. The second issue is that nobody telling you all that you need to select this boat. You need to select this boat. I know people say it's expensive, people come up, but listen, you're not gonna go to DAT, truck stop, one, two, three, low boy, these are low boys, and find nothing on cargo. It's not gonna say specifically cargo vans. So this is the only low board out there that specifically has loads for this particular vehicle or piece of equipment as they call it in the industry. You have to be connected to the celebrity. Other thing you can do is a company called Meal House. A company called Meal House. Again, that company is called Meal House. Look them up. Try to get with them. It'll help you keep get your cargo van or your Sprinter van moving. There's another one called Panther Logistics. Now these places they charge a lot. You know what I'm saying? But you know, some money is better than no money. Now, if you want more strategies, man, get with Silver Star 360. We're going logistics training, man. We're going to put you on game. And, you know, we got a part. We got a, we got something with structuring called learn while you earn because we don't want you to burn in this industry. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of people. They come and going to burn, you know, and, and we don't want that. I don't want that for nobody. That's why I'm dropping these free gems. Take them, eat the meat, throw away the bone like you do a piece of chicken. But I, I did my due diligence in trying to put out the information. And I'm not charging you a dime. It's free game. Because, you know, people have jumped in this industry. And back to what I was saying about a lot of these digital batch courses, the reason they don't teach this type of stuff because they know, man, you need to get with a dispatch. I mean, you get with a dispatch company that really know what they doing in cargo van and Sprinter van, because if you don't know what you doing in the cargo van, Sprinter van space, you're not going to survive, man. Everybody going to tell you, people just want people to sign up with them, and they're not going to be honest with you and tell you the truth, that they don't know what they doing, because even if they went to a course, look at the biggest course on the market right now for dispatch, and it does not teach on Sprinter van and cargo van. It sticks to the basics. Basically, these are the basic vehicles. I wonder why. But and, and now that you got your van, you understand that why they don't teach on that. So 90% of these dispatchers out here don't know nothing, don't know how to move a cargo van. Man, I can move your cargo van just with DAT. I don't even need select, but I'm just giving you the game on I get, but I do have access to select. I'm telling you about selectors because it is essential. If you want to stay consistent and stay moving and get you some permanent lane or some local lane, you need selectors. That's just bottom line, cut and dry. But on DAT, you can make money if you want to go OTR. There are all ways to do it. And you just get LTL. LTL. Actually, this man do ain't know what LTL is. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't know what LTL is, that's how you get your get your, your person 
loads on the Sprint and the Cargo van. Partials, man. Partials. A lot of these partials will fit on the cargo van. But we can't be lazy. We got to call the broker and talk to him. Hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Will this fit on a cargo van or a Sprint van? That's simple. It's not hard to do. But we can't be lazy. You can be lazy with a 53. You can be lazy with a 26, but you can't be lazy with a cargo van. It takes some hustle. It takes some strategy. It takes some skill. It takes really know what you're doing to move these vehicles. And like I say, free game. Select this. Check it out, man. Y'all be blessed, man. If you need more help, don't worry. Get with us, man. Silver Star. Get with us, please. We, we, we help you, man. Free consultation. We're not charging you for consultation. We're not charging you for no consultation. Yeah, but we want to help you because we don't want you to fail. Be blessed.